Who do I envy? Why do I envy them? <laughs> Good morning. It is day five. I'm feeling super good this morning. I woke up really well rested. I slept early um, and just like again seeing the sun every morning as I wake up is just amazing. I just did some reading because I have book club with one of my best friends in like two hours. So my breakfast came so we're gonna get breakfast now. I didn't lock my door last night. How sketchy. Let's see what's for breakfast today. Oh, what is this? We got the breakfast menu. Ooh, it's kanji, my favorite. It is currently 7.44. There is a Facebook group that this hotel has with like all the quarantine guests, which is kind of cute. I also found out that all of this packaging is not, is it biodegradable? But it's some type of material that um, is not plastic. So I feel better about throwing it out. I know that was my concern before about throwing, oh sticky, about throwing all of this out every day. It's just a lot of like packaging. So I'm just glad that they're conscious about it. Oh, this apple juice makes my hands sticky. I'm gonna wash my hands. Every time I get a tickle in my throat, I'm so paranoid. Is it a tickle? Can I smell? And I like smell things? And I taste stuff? <gasps> oh my god, this is my favorite thing in the world. I don't know how to describe it in English. It's like Chinese donuts? Um, oh my god. Dude, what? What a good breakfast. I am so... <laughs> happy right now so yeah in mandarin it's called yo tiao but what is it in cantonese again it's not yo tiao goi is it i don't know my chinese is... please forgive me where is my spoon mm. Mm, it's still hot as well Ooh. I'm so happy. Um, I try to make kanji at home, like in LA, and it just never comes out tasting like this. Like it's probably MSG as well, but holy crap, this tastes like home. Mm. Oh my God, there's sweet soy sauce. <laughs> I've never been so happy. So I've noticed the last couple days that my hair has been like shedding so much and it's so obvious right now. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but in the light you can see like my part is really thin at the moment. And I don't know if I mentioned before in previous videos, but I'm pretty open about it. Um, how my hair just like sheds and like some months it's super full and, and other months it's like i'm balding um it's so stressful because you're in the shower and you're like just feeling all these strands of hair come out and you have no control over it whatsoever um and i still don't know what is causing it like is it stress is it like some imbalance like i did some tests before like blood tests and hormone tests to see if there was any imbalance and there's nothing wrong with me and also this time is an exception because i honestly was pretty stressed when i was coming back but in the other times where i've noticed shedding there it's like zero stress like nothing is going on in my life and it's just shedding so i don't know i'm just noticing a lot more shedding um since i've been here it also could be like environmental changes or whatnot, but I'm feeling a bit insecure about it, especially since like I'm filming a lot now um, and like taking photos and I don't know. That's just something I'm struggling with right now. But anyways, it's nice talking to the camera. <laughs> it feels like there's like someone here physically that I'm just ranting to, which is nice. Thank you for being my audience. Let me know who you are. Please comment <laughs> so it doesn't feel like I'm talking to a void. 
which I kind of am. YouTube is a void. Mm. Okay. <coughs> Holy shit. I got a huge bite of oil. So I have these self-reflection cards from We're Not Really Strangers, which is a card game originally for you to play with your loved ones, your friends, and like to get to know them on a deeper level. So up my alley, um, I play this all the time with my friends in LA because I know I was gonna be in quarantine. Um, I purchased the self-reflection edition. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do a card or two every morning. I think some kanji went up my nose. <laughs> First one. Who do I feel most myself around and why? Um, this is kind of easy. I feel most myself around my friends from high school or, right? Yeah, like the friends I've had for 15 plus years, almost 20 years, who I don't feel the need to prove anything to or to censor myself for because they know who I am, like to my core. I also have really close friends that I met in college that I feel comfortable around, but there's another level of comfort when it comes to my friends that I've known since like second grade. You've gone through your awkward puberty phase with them with no judgment. You've learned and made mistakes that are like completely embarrassing and not okay if you made them today. There's something about being with your friends you've known for like almost 20 years. Why is my throat? It's the oil from the Yotel. It has to be. <laughs> I'm paranoid. <laughs> okay. Who do I envy? Why do I envy them? <laughs> I regret this. Who do I envy? Why do I envy them? But I also can't think of someone that I like truly envy. I can't think of like a person. I can think of like a type of person. I envy those who are so unapod- How do you say the word? Unapologetically themselves. Like the people who just exude confidence no matter what they do. Like sometimes they can be loud, sometimes they can be like outspoken, but I envy them because I grew up in a society or like a family that that didn't foster that type of personality. Like it was a very collectivist mindset where it's like you want to fit in versus stand out. And I think that definitely hindered some of that confidence. Maybe it's not confidence, but it's like the comfort in being yourself and standing out. Like I envy people that are just really comfortable with being the center of attention, I guess. <laughs> like that sounds weird. Because I grew up in Hong Kong, it's so not individualistic in where like in the US, people are praised for being like out there and praised for being like the first to do something. But in Hong Kong or in a lot of Asian families, it's like, that's not something you do. Like you just want to fit in as much as you can. You don't want to say things louder than anyone. You don't want to dress a certain way to stand out. Um, so going to the US where it's kind of the opposite, where it's like everyone wants to be different. It was such a culture shock in that way. Um, and I don't say I envy them, but I, I appreciate that quality and have found myself emulating some of those qualities, like really trying to unlearn the collectivist mindset with that. Yeah, I'm like in such a weird middle ground with like two different cultures and I don't feel 100% comfortable in each culture. Like I'm like somewhere in the middle, um, which is weird sometimes. What have I been sensitive to lately? I don't know if I wanna share this. I have to share it. I'm trying to think like, what have I been sensitive to lately? Like loneliness. And it's also really funny to say that because I'm like in self-isolation for 21 days, but I've been really sensitive to like wanting support. Yeah, I would say support. Support that being in a stable relationship with someone gives you. I haven't been in like a long-term relationship in a while and I've definitely been thinking about 
past relationships and like the stability it gave me. So I would say even though I hate to admit it, like I'm definitely sensitive to that aspect <laughs> because I'm such a big advocate on like independence and being really content on your own and this whole cheesy thing of like, you can't be happy with someone else if you're not happy alone. So yeah, I mean, you're only human, right? Like everyone wants that type of intimacy or support, so. Ooh, this one, this one we're gonna end with. <laughs> that was good, those were really good ones. Okay, that was a good one to end on. Thanks for spending time with me. Bye, see you.